Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to my channel. This is the Dynamics Watch channel where I discuss watches, talk about watches and have a look at different watches. Today I have a Casio Hotbiz VDB2000. This is a touch screen databank watch and it is operated with tactile pressure. There are no physical buttons on this watch interesting piece of technology it comes from the mid 1990s i believe somewhere between 1991 and 1998 it's difficult to pinpoint its exact age but there it is it has like a go a gold colored case resin case with a metal bracelet on the wrist it's quite smart quite a tidy looking watch there's a backlight there you touch the screen in the corner and you have a nice el backlight which illuminates the entire face of this watch. Beautiful, how about that, eh? Not too bad at all. An interesting piece of technology from the past. Indeed. Okay, so going through the functionality, you can see there are no physical buttons on this watch, on the right-hand side or the left-hand side. This entire watch is controlled by this touch screen. And so what we're going to do is go ahead, I'm just using this little pointer here. I'm going to go ahead and have a look at some of the features briefly and discuss them. So you'll see the bottom section is the touch section. Up the top we've got the day, the year, so the date is there, the month and day of the month and the time in the middle. And then below you've got the touch component. So that's where you can actually control the watch. So you've got these icons. It's quite difficult with your thumb. I've got big thumbs, so it's a little bit difficult. So I'm using this little pointer. And you can touch the various icons to control different functions on the watch and different modes. That's your light button there. And this second button from the left is your mode button. So that will cycle through all the modes. The alarm mode, there are five alarms. And you can use this little button here to cycle through the five alarms. There's number five, number four, number three, all multi-function alarms. So that's quite handy as expected from this generation of watch. So once we've finished setting up our alarm or we're playing with the alarm mode, we push this mode button again, just like that. And that will take us to the countdown timer it does have a 24 hour countdown timer, which can be controlled by touching this icon on the right hand side, just like that. And that will initiate the countdown timer. So it, it's quite difficult to, there we go. I didn't hit the button properly. They don't take a lot of pressure. They are very sensitive, so. Again, you can stop it with the same button and over the left, push this button and that will reset your countdown timer. Maximum of 24 hours. Moving on, you've got a stopwatch chronograph function. And it's the same story. You can start it by touching that icon there on the touch screen and you can pause the stopwatch by touching that same icon and reset with the left icon. Just like the chronograph, like the countdown timer, sorry. And then we're back to the home time screen. So they're the basic modes from the main menu on your touchpad. Okay, alarm, timer, and stopwatch. I love how the pages scroll between modes, between menus, it's quite nice. Now those top symbols, this is where you can access your tele memo functions and your data bank and your memory protect modes. So this already has some data in it. So to protect the previous owner's personal information, I've just blocked it there. So from there, you can simply scroll through your different entries from there. Okay, so I think that's your tele memo mode and so forth, up and down button. Now, if we go back, that's that button there. The next one is your business, business category where you can enter vital information and your databank mode. So basically the top row of buttons will access your 
data bank features, telememo features, and the bottom row of buttons will navigate and go through your main modes in the, in the watch itself. So it is an interesting watch. It has a partial touch screen and no physical buttons, which I think is a good thing. And it has allowed it to have some water resistance. It is water resistant. So it does have a case back seal. And with no physical buttons, you really are protecting the module from moisture and the elements. I think that is fantastic. So we're just having a bit of a play around here with the different modes, as you can see, and in timekeeping mode. It is a fairly small watch, comes in at about 35 millimeters in diameter. And using that touchpad is, although you don't need a lot of pressure, it is small. So you really need to be careful where you touch on the touchpad to access your various uh, modes and settings. Now, if you did need to go ahead and adjust the time, because you can see the watch has not been set to the correct time, 1995 there, what you need to do is hit the adjust button and hold it down. Now the adjust icon is on the bottom row, second row from, second icon from the right, just there. So what you need to do is push that and hold it for a few seconds and there you go, you're in adjust mode and now you can go ahead and adjust your time, your date, your alarm. If you're in alarm mode, you use that same button to adjust and set your alarms, etc. So it is fairly logical and once you get the hang of it, it's quite easy. So this is the rose gold, well rose sort of yellow gold coloured VDB2000. Fantastic. An interesting watch, a little bit of mid 90s technology there and it's fun to play around with. Very interesting indeed. So guys, in summary, I do like this watch. Here it is in a little bit of sunlight. You can see what it looks like in a different environment. It has water resistance, it's got that interesting touch screen and a really nice backlight. I think it's got a beautiful electroluminescence backlight. The metal bracelet makes it unique and it is quite difficult to find information on the VDB2000 model. There are different models, the VD VDB100, the VDB200, etc. So here's the case back, and if we zoom in a little bit, you can see it has the module number and the model number engraved on the back of the watch. So there we have it, people, the Hotbiz touchscreen watch from Casio, the leaders in wristwatch technology. And for your information, the battery is a 2016. Well, that just about wraps it up for today. Thanks for watching. And I will come back to you next week with another watch review or another watch upload. If you'd like to see another video from my channel, there are links on the screen. Thank you and bye for now.